You just buy the unit, you plug your solar panels in, and then you, you plug it into a wall outlet. And, and that's it. You can scale up to six, which means about 12 kilowatt hours of storage. And we have an even bigger one to go to 23 kilowatt hours of storage. So you don't, you don't have to hire an electrician to rewire your electrical panel. Exactly, that's the whole idea. These will remain to be additional storage to your larger solution. So you will never waste money on buying those. Sometimes you call it balcony solar, right? Is this yeah. also designed for people who, who are renting? They, they can't install a permanent system. The smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And today we're coming to you from InterSolar Europe, which is Europe's largest solar conference here in Munich, Germany. Uh, this afternoon I'm joined by Arna Engelman from EcoFlow, and we're looking at the new EcoFlow portable plug and play solar solution. So Arna, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for coming over. Absolutely. Well, you know, part of the reason that we decided to come to InterSolar Europe is that we know that Frankly, the European storage and solar market is more developed than the U.S. market. But we know that many of the companies that are operating here in Europe have just begun or, or very in the very near future will begin operating uh, and offering some of these solutions in the U.S. market. And of course, we want to make sure that our audience stays up to date with all the latest solar product and technology information. So today, I know we're looking at really what is a new category of solar and battery solution, which is uh, a plug and play portable system and, and a system that a homeowner can basically install themselves. Exactly. So can yeah. you kind of walk us through how, how is the system architected and how, how does it work? So you already mentioned it. The idea is like it's a plug and play system. So it's as simple as charging your iPhone. You, you plug it into, you plug in the solar panels, four plugs, you plug in the power plug and you're done. Right? And you, you, you can create your own energy. So it's, it's really straightforward, super simple. And that's the big benefit over bigger installations where you need to have installers, where you need to have a lot of cost involved. This one is almost 90% at least, it's done by yourself. So so let, let me make sure I understand it. So you're basically saying you just buy the unit, you plug your solar panels in, and then you, you plug it into a wall outlet? And, and that's it. And that's it? Yeah. Okay, and what, what kind of benefits could a homeowner get with a solution like that? How much, how, how much solar power could I put in, and how much power would that provide for the house? So this one right now, um, is like in, in Germany or in Europe, right now we are, um, have 2,000 watts peak input from the solar panels. 2,000 watts of solar in, okay. And uh, in Germany, because of regulations, we have 800 watts output to the grid, because okay. more is like for this category, not allowed in the German regulations. Uh, we can of course go higher if local regulations like in the US would allow that. So that's a kind of tweak in the hardware or software that we can do with the system. And that 800 watts is delivered into a wall outlet, so you don't, right. you don't have to hire an electrician to rewire your electrical panel. Exactly, that's the whole idea. So um, it goes straight from the storage from the Stream Ultra into the wall socket, and from there distributes within your home grid, and you can use it in another room or with your other appliances. Very cool. So once that, power, once that solar power comes into the system, into your outlet, then pretty much any other circuit within the house can, can consume that power. Exactly, exactly. And the huge benefit with this system is that you do have distributed batteries. So most of these kind of systems work with a single centralized battery, which means you can charge during the day with the solar panels. You have, I don't know, two, four, six K of storage on your balcony or on, on your, in your house, but you can only draw a limited amount of power out of the battery once you need it in the evening. These uh, EcoFlow Stream units work decentralized. So everywhere where you have a big consumer, like a washing machine, um, your TV, Xbox, PlayStation, anything that really draws power, you put one of these and you connect the devices directly to the battery. And therefore we can draw, like from one battery, you can draw 1,200 watts. If you connect two in parallel, it's 2,300 watts. Even to power like the really heaviest loads directly from that one. So Arn, for, for a typical home then, a typical home, would you have what, two or three of these units? Yes. On a spread on different surfaces exactly. within the home? Yeah. Okay. So usually, I mean, it depends on the size of your home, right? If you go for a standard apartment, for example, a single household, it would be one of the units enough. If you have a family home, you would go with two, three, or even four units. You can scale up to six, which means about 12 kilowatt hours of storage. 
and we have an even bigger one to go to 23 kilowatt hours of storage. So each, each, each individual unit is two kilowatt hours, right? Yes, correct. So you can do up to six spread on different circuits for a yes. total of 12 kilowatt hours. Well, this is also really interesting too, because you know, I know a lot of folks out there that have been following solar and storage technology, a lot of them, they, they rent their home or they live in an apartment. So they can't do permanently installed solar panels on the roof. It sounds like this is the solution. I know you, sometimes you call it balcony solar, right? Is this also designed for people who, who are renting? They, they can't install a permanent system. That's ex exactly the solution that I have. So okay. I'm using that in exact the same in this setup. I have a rented apartment. So I put these there, no installation. So I don't have to mess with the landlord. I don't have to mess with the circuit and installers. I just put it there. Um, and then when I move out, I take it and go to another place. And um, that's a perfect solution for that one. Yeah, no, I think this is a really cool solution. Again, for those of you who are just lo looking to, to maybe get started in solar energy with a little bit of capacity, you don't want to necessarily hire a high-priced contractor for twenty or thirty thousand dollars. You know, for a couple thousand dollars, you can get started here with some basic solar and storage, see how it works, uh, and then expand up the system from there. Now, Arn, Arn, I know that one of the issues here, I, I believe, here in Germany, and I know certainly is going to be an issue in the U.S., is not not exporting ex solar power yeah. to the grid. And so my understanding is that this smart meter is somehow prevents prevents the solar from getting out of the house and being sent back to the grid. Can you explain a little bit why do we need a smart meter and how does it work? Exactly, you're right. So with a smart meter, we, we do know, so that goes between the grid and your house. Um, so the smart meter knows how much you are consuming at any given time within the house. And therefore... And this, this would be installed in the circuit breaker panel? Yes, correct. Oh, okay. So it goes in the circuit breaker panel and then knows what you're doing in the house in terms of consumption, power consumption, and it does talk with these units. So all these units have Wi-Fi, they all work in kind of like a mesh system, okay. so they network together in the house. Each battery always knows what is the load of each battery, what is the consumption in the house, and it gets the consumption data from the smart meter. And therefore, we can guarantee that the batteries will never feed more solar energy into the house than what the um, consumers in the house are using according to the smart meter. So you always have like a flat line that goes out. Make, makes sense. And, and the nice thing about it, if I, if I understand what you're saying correctly, is that it doesn't, it doesn't have to shut all the solar off if, if there's too much coming in. It can just throttle it down to make sure that the solar matches the load and it's not having to export. But right. I, I know some of the systems now, like for an AC coupled battery, for example, a lot of the AC coupled batteries they, they can't really regulate the solar coming in. So if it's too much, they just have to shut it all down yeah. and then wait wait five minutes, try again. With this, it, if, I'm, if I'm hearing you correctly, this can just basically tell the system to just reduce the output exactly. to match yes. the load, yeah. but you're not gonna lose the solar altogether. Yeah. Because you have, um, so the, the panels go, the panels you connect to the Stream Ultra, right? So you have one, like, like a master device where the panels are connected to. Um, and then the power can go to the battery or the power can go to the grid to your house, whatever is needed. So the smart meter could tell the input or the, the, the master and say, look, I, don't, I only need 200 watts in the house. So take the re remaining six, 1,000, whatever you get inside and charge the battery. Or just limit it. If the battery is full, just cut it. Right? So you, it's dynamically controllable. And then, as I said, if you have zero consumption in the house, because no one is at home and you unplug your Wi-Fi or whatever, you could like tell this one to charge that one and make sure with the smart meter that nothing goes out. So this would charge with a power amount of power that this one would provide. Interesting. All right. Well, Arne, is, is there anything else that the audience should know about this new portable plug and play solar and storage solution? I think, I mean, the, the most important really is it's simple. Right, so you don't have to. You don't need to have an installer. You can do it yourself. Um, maybe for the smart meter, depending on the regulation, if you go to the circuit breaker grid box, uh, you might need someone to install that one. But the rest is really, really simple. And I think this is most likely the, the, the biggest takeaway. It's an easy start into the whole generating my own elect electricity to be uh, safe for outages and also to save a lot of money um, using that. And then if you want to scale up, if you want to go to a full-blown solution, you can always do that. Even then, these will remain to be additional storage to your larger solution. So you will never waste money on buying those. 
Right, right. No, I, I see it exactly the same way. I think this is a, a low cost, low risk way that somebody can get started with solar and battery storage, perhaps not even having to use an electrician or a contractor at all, which will keep keep the cost way down. And then there's there's several other options they can expand. I mean, I know EcoFlow has several other options, and there's there's others here, of course, that are for more of a whole house type of uh, installation. But of course, those whole house installations are going to be more expensive. It's going to involve permits and contractors. But um, you know, with, with the portable plug and play solution, uh, as far as the U.S. market goes, I believe uh, regulatory approval is imminent in the state of Utah, and of course, we expect other states to follow. Uh, to basically approve you to have a portable plug-and-play distributed solar solution that you can basically install yourself, don't have to pull permits, don't have to hire an electrician, uh, and of course, you know it has to be installed to make sure that you're not sending anything back out to the grid. But you know you're free to use that power how you like it within the home. Well, Arne, I thank you for taking time to chat My with pleasure. us this afternoon. Thanks a lot, uh, folks. By the way, the, the reason that we're here at InterSolar Europe is because. You know, many of the international companies that are, are offering their solution here in the European market, they're going to be coming into the U.S. market very soon, or in, in many cases, they've already come into the U.S. market. Um, the European storage market is about 10 years advanced from where we are in the U.S., you know, because we've, we've kind of been spoiled in the U.S. with one-for-one -one net metering programs. Well, much of Germany and Europe, they haven't had those programs for a long time, so uh, a lot more people are installing battery storage with their solar here. But again, a lot of these companies are going to be coming into the U.S. market with these solutions very soon. And that's why we want to make sure that we were here so you can have the most up-to-date solar and, and battery storage product information. But uh, that pretty much does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.